in this video we'll know the different types of polygons as we know a polygon is a closed shape made of straight line segments there are many types of polygons and we can classify them in different ways but before diving into them let's know what is the origin of the word polygon the word polygon comes from greek poly here this poly means many gone means angled so the whole words mean many angles so a polygon is a shape that has many angles and must be closed for example a triangle has three angles a quadrilateral has four angles quadrilateral means like square rectangle which they have four side and four angles a pentagon has five angles each of these shapes has multiple angles which is why they are called polygon now let's erase this so we will know the types of polygons now let's classify a polygons based on different properties for example one regular or irregular polygons first and second I will speed it up to write it so a regular polygon has all sides and all angles equal otherwise it is a regular but for me for illustrate this I wrote if even one angle or side is different the polygon is a regular let's give you example for example here I will speed it up to write the examples here so is this regular or irregular this is regular shape why because all of the sides are equal and all of the angles are equal so regular polygon is this regular or irregular of course this is irregular because here we have 90 degree angles since this is 90 degree so this of course it's not 90 and this of course it's not 90 degree so this is a regular polygon is this regular or irregular polygon this is regular polygon because all of the angles here are equal which are 90 degrees and all of the sides are equal so regular polygon is this regular or irregular of course this is a regular polygon because not all of the sides are equal this equal to this this equal to this but not all of them are equal so it's a regular polygon a regular polygon so a rectangle is irregular because the sides are not equal so to be regular polygon all sides and all angles equal now let's take another type of polygons which are concave or convex polygon concave or convex 
polygons. Let's go down. Now the same thing, let's speed it up to write these two. So a concave polygon has at least one internal angle greater than 180 degrees. So any polygon has an angle which is more than 180 degree, then this is concave polygon. Is a triangle concave polygon? Of course no, because impossible to have a triangle which has angle 180 degrees. So a concave polygon has at least one internal angle greater than 180 degrees. A convex polygon has all internal angle less than 180 degrees. Now, let's illustrate this by give you many examples. So let's write here the examples. I will speed it up to write this example. Is this a concave or convex polygon? Of course, it's a convex polygon because all of the interior angles less than 180 degrees. As we said, a triangle always a convex polygon because all of its interior angles are less than 180 degrees. To be concave, at least one angle must be greater than 180 degrees, which is impossible in a triangle. So. This is convex polygon. What about this? Is this concave or convex polygon? Of course, this is convex polygon because all internal angles less than 180 degrees. So this, of course, it's not greater than 180 degrees and the same of this and the same of this and the same of this so this is convex polygon is this concave or convex polygon of course this is a concave polygons because you can see here this angle is greater than 180 degrees so this is concave polygon What about this? The same of this, it has two angle which is greater than 180 degrees. So this is concave polygon. So because of these two or one of them is concave polygon this shape. Is this concave or convex polygon? Of course this is concave because it has angle here interior angle measure more than 180 degrees so this is concave polygon concave polygon because at least one internal angle greater than 180 degrees additional to this a simple test to check if a polygon is concave or convex is to draw a line between two points inside the shape. If any part of that line goes outside the shape boundary, it is concave polygon. Otherwise, it is convex. So let's take this test. For example, if I pick this point and this point, if I connect this line, if this line goes outside of this boundary of this shape, so this is concave. And the same thing here. If we have here, if we choose this point and this point, if we connect them, it will be uh, here. This side is outside of this shape, so this is concave. Again, I will repeat this test. Draw a line between two points inside the shape. If any part of that line goes outside the shape boundary, it is concave polygon. So it's very simple test. Now. Let's go to the third types of polygons, which is simple or 
complex polygon so simple or complex polygons again I will speed it up to write these two So a simple polygon is a shape where the side do not cross each other. For example, here there is no side cross each other. For example, if we extend this one here and extend this one means this cross each other. So this shape, there is no cross each other for the sides. So all of these are simple. Let's go down to write more example. So let's write more example here. As you can see, I wrote here many examples here, many figures here. Also a complex polygon, also called self-intersecting polygon. Self-intersecting polygon. So it has two names. So here you can see it's self-intersecting polygon. So this shape is self-intersecting because some of its side here, this side and this side, cross each other. So this is a complex polygon. Complex polygon. Is this simple or complex polygon? Of course, it's simple because there is no side cross each other. So this is simple. polygon here the shape like fish is this a symbol or complex polygon of course it's complex because you can see here it's intersect this side and this side cross each other here in this point so this is complex polygon this star not like before here you can see there are many lines inside the shape of this star this is complex because here you can see this side cross and this side cross so you can see it has many polygons not one polygons for example this here polygon this polygon this polygon this polygon so it has many polygons so this is complex and the same thing here you can see here there is two independent polygon so this is complex polygon you can think about this like we have two polygon here this one and this one each one is closed and each one made of a straight line segments so this is complex polygon i will repeat here again a star shape is complex because its sides here and here cross over so it's very simple to distinguish between symbol and complex polygon and you can see here this star here there is no polygons inside it you can thinking about like this but here each side cross each other so that's why here this is complex polygon and here this is a symbol polygon so as I said, you can think about it as has too many polygons in one shape. And that's it. We have covered the types of polygons. I hope this video illustrates clearly the types of polygons. So did you find this explanation helpful? If so, like, share and subscribe for more math videos. Feel free to comment below if you have any question or suggestion about this video. See you in the next video.